What's going on YouTube? So today, well, I wanted to go out shooting yesterday, but uh, you know, I had some house stuff to take care of first and ran out of time. So I looked at the forecast for today and figured, you know, hey, I can always go tomorrow. Lo and behold, it was supposed to be a three-ish hour window before the rain would start. And I checked it again this morning before I left. Same thing, so I was like, okay, when I get there, I'll have three hours to shoot. Found out there's an owl around uh, this area, and there's usually red tail hawks as well. So I figured, you know what, I'll just come out here and uh, try to get some shots. Unfortunately, most of the birding season in Canada is when the weather gets cold. So, it's an unfortunate set of circumstances, but it is what it is. This is where I live, so I guess I just got to deal with it. So, anyway, I got here and uh, everything seemed great. Everything's nice and dry. It's awesome. Grab the camera, throw on, uh, well, grab the K3 Mark III, throw on the DFA 15450, get everything all set, put on my strap, jump out of the car, shut the door, arm the alarm, boom, starts raining. Boom, just like that. Whoa, almost lost my hat. It's crazy sometimes it just happens like that. But uh, yeah, started raining the second I locked my car. So I was like, I just drove for a good 40 minutes to come out here. I might as well just stay and see what happens. It's still raining, as you can see. Let's uh, give a quick visualization here. Yeah, it's been raining for a while. The whole camera is wet. I already had to clean the uh, sensor the eye sensor uh, by the viewfinder had to clean that because uh, the screen wasn't coming on but I did get some shots yeah found the owl and uh, just as I was I uh, just scoured the whole area which is as you can see a pretty large area pretty large uh, I mean it just goes on and on and on and on and uh, yeah so I scoured the area looked for anything and everything I could find wasn't really much because it's a pretty gloomy day understandably I took a chance but I did end up finding a red-tailed hawk and uh, yeah the next series of picks are going to be a little on the uneasy side if you have a weak stomach you know but it is nature wildlife is brutal it's just how it is I'm happy with the shots because it tells a story so yeah uh, I'll just talk about the settings while I show a lengthy culmination of the few images that I got. All right, let's get started on these images. So as soon as I arrived, there was this barred owl. Uh, you know, I, I was able to find this guy pretty quickly. It's very high up in the trees. And this is the DNG file. And then here's where I processed it in the JPEG. So pretty big difference. Did recover a fair amount. Fair amount looks good, uh, and this was shot at one one twenty fifth of a second using the center AF sorry AFS center AF point thing. They ju they just call it AF, and uh, sorry select AF, and that's the five uh, the five autofocus spread in the dead center of the viewfinder, uh, just because it was more open space here and it could clearly capture uh, and lock on to uh, the barred owl here. And let's just continue on. And from here, I was just looking at trying to capture something different, uh, you know, a facial expression or a movement or a pose, you know, just something a little different. I could have been on the other side, uh, you know, with its chest on, you know, facing me. However, uh, just the situation of where the barred owl actually was in relation to everything else in the trees that were on the ground, I would not have been able to actually get that shot. So I had to deal with what I had to work with from this position. Thankfully, these are kind of like exorcist birds. They can spin their head around. So yeah, it actually worked out. And this one I like, uh, it's sort of a thing of looking up like, like it's praying or, you know, it's wishing upon a star or, you know, I wonder if there is life on another planet kind of thing. And this one here, I used spot autofocus in AF, AFS. And just because there's just so many branches and trees everywhere, 
um, you know, that this, I would not have been able to focus solely on the barred owl. I would have ended up with a branch here, probably this branch here, maybe a branch over here. It just would not have worked out uh, the way it did by using spot focus. So again, you know, the K3 Mark III, as I keep saying, it is a deliberate camera. You really need to think about what it is that you're shooting and apply the correct autofocus settings for the environment that you're actually shooting in if you want to get the most out of the camera. And then there is this red tail hawk, and I will warn you, the next set of images is pretty graphic, but it is wildlife, it's just how it is. So this red tail hawk did see something out there, and as you can see, all the raindrops all around it. You know, and this, uh, what did I shoot this at? This was at 10,000 ISO, uh, 112, 125, one 125th of a second. Uh, you know, I just was able to get, I was hoping that it was going to fly towards me, but it obviously didn't. It is what it is. I mean, you can't win them all. And, uh, but apparently he won or it won. She won. I'm not even sure if it's male or female, but yeah. Uh, so at this point, I just wanted to capture the essence of this thing. Absolutely demolishing this mouse and <laughs> just absolutely demolishing it. Uh, which it, it went to town on that mouse, man. It was something else. And I like this one cause it's sort of a, <gasps> Oh, I didn't realize that you were watching. Oh no, you're watching me the whole time. I'm so embarrassed. What should I do? I don't know why I made that accent, but anyway, uh, yeah, I just, I like that other shot. And then it just went back down to devouring this poor thing. And then it started ripping the guts out as it was eating, uh, which was, I'm sure it was pretty tasty for the red tail hawk. Not so much for me watching it do this. But again, you know, I always try to tell some kind of story with the images that I capture, whether it's wildlife, birds, whatever it is. Uh, so that's pretty much what I was trying to do in regards to these captures. And you can see the raindrops all over the place. And there's uh, rain on its, on its back as well. All the beads of water there. So yeah, it was, it was, I was very, very soaked by the time I got back to the car. And then here is a sign. Whoops. Let's go that one. Yeah. So this is a sign that just explains what you should and should not do when you're capturing wildlife. You can pause the video if you want to read it. It's up to you. And, uh, let's see what's this one. Okay. And then this was a female cardinal. It's hanging out in the brush or hanging out in the tree I should say and that was one four thousandth of a second there were a lot of small songbirds uh, flying all over the place and I was hoping that I'd be able to capture one but there were just honestly way too many trees and branches that were just constantly in the way so I made the decision you know what I'm just going to use spot focus in AFS and I'm just going to capture the birds as you know when they're stationary because the there's just no way that that was going to work. There's just way too many things in the way. And I don't think it really matters what camera you're using. That is just too much. It's a very difficult situation to try to capture. And let's see, is this one? Yeah, it's when it was eating the seeds. This one, for some reason, applied a fair amount of noise reduction. But the actual ambience, I still like. And then there was this one as well. So again, I used spot autofocus to capture this because there's just way too many branches in the way. Just way too many. No other possible way to be able to capture that. And then there's that guy again, just eating the seeds, eating the seeds. It's that season. And that's the weird thing. So in Canada, like our, our birding season, uh, pretty much like really actually starts kind of now uh, for especially birds of prey, uh, various raptors. Um, and then, you know, when I guess like now the trees are kind of spreading their berries more, you know, that kind of thing. So this is the season for us to be out, which uh, aggravates me because it's cold. But anyway, that's it for this video. If you like the video, leave a like. If you have not already, please do subscribe. Always helps out. 
And I always appreciate every subscriber that I, that, that I have, that I get, that I will get, that I've had in the past. Anyway, um, if you want to support the channel, that info is at the bottom of the description. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'm going to go. That's it. You will see me on my next video. I'm out.